Hi, so in this video we're going to be looking at um, the binomial expansion when n is not a positive in integer. This is a certain video on this topic and I'm going to do a slightly harder question. Okay, so just reminding us what we had before. We had this expansion which we were able to use when n was not a whole positive number. So we could use it when n was minus 4 or when n was a half. Uh, the key to this one, it's only valid if the modulus of x is smaller than 1. Okay, so I've got a three-part question. I'm going to do each part separately. Um, I'm going to first, um, sorry, find the first four terms in ascending powers of x for this expansion here. Now, the key to doing these is really just to work out what you've got to substitute in. So my power is a half and my x value is the minus 2x. Now, um, I really recommend using this format where we do term by term because as you can see there's a lot of working out for each term and if you try and do it in, in one line it gets very messy, very hard to mark and very easy to make a mistake. Okay, so doing each term by terms, first term's 1, second term's n times x, n times x, so half times minus 2. Third term is n times n minus 1, so that's a half times minus a half, a half take away 1 is minus a half, um, and n times x squared, so that's minus 2x all squared over 2 factorial, that's 2 times 1, and you can work that out to get this. And then the last one is n times n minus 1, n minus 2, so that's a half times minus a half times minus 3 over 2 times minus 2x all cubed over 3 factorial, 3 times 2 times 1, and you can work this out to get you a minus a half x cubed. So the first four terms in ascending powers of x, as that means as x is going up, uh, uh, of this expansion is 1 minus x minus a half x squared minus a half x cubed. Okay, the second bit. When is the expansion valid? The expansion valid is only valid if the x here is, the modulus of x is smaller than 1. So rx is their x, so rx becomes here, so it's only valid if the modulus of minus 2x is smaller than 1. Okay, and we did a similar question like this in our C2 module, uh, using suitable values of x, find an approximation for the square root of 0 0.83 decimal places. So what do we have? We have our expansion, we have the same power, so that means to make this look the same as that, what I want to do is make 1 minus 2x equals 0 0.8. So I put that like that and then I work out what x would be and x would be 0 0.1. I then take my um, x equals 0 0.1 and just pop it in the expansion. So it's 1 minus 0 0.1 minus a half 0 0.1 squared minus a half 0 0.1 cubed, work it out and I give it to whatever they've asked. They've asked for three decimal places, so I will give it to three decimal places here. Okay, um, I hope that's helpful. Um, these questions, the key is really to use the format I've shown because it's very easy to make a mistake with them. It's not that they're so difficult, but they're messy and horrible and lots of negatives and positives and fractions, and it's just easy to make a mistake. So just go steady. Okay, good luck.